Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Carissa Sheila and I'm a mom to a one-year-old as well as a wife to a mechanical engineer. And if you're not new here, well, hey, welcome back. I'm super glad to have you. Today is Vlogmas Day 13. Yeah, we're on day 13. I'm super excited. We're almost there through Christmas. Like, so fast. Like, how, how crazy is that? Um... Today is in collaboration with my dear friend here on YouTube, Marie from Moreno Moms. She also has her wife come in every so often, so that's why the, hence the name, but Marie is typically the one who does most of the videos, and she did this around, she's showed books on her channel for her little one, Ani, um, a few times. So I was like, hey, would you like to collab to show some Christmas books that you like to read to Ani and what I like to read to Colton? So I have a few books here. I have some books for Christmas slash winter, the like wintry books as well as Christmas books to read to your little one for bedtime, story time, or any time you guys go and read books, I guess guess that would be story time right um so I have a few books here that are all directly related to that that I love and Ricky loves to read and Colton gets a kick out of them as well some are long some are short and yeah let's get into it so the first one is Merry Christmas Little Pookie so this book um is like a series they have a bunch of different little pookie books we also have spooky pookie spooky pookie that um it just talks about like the adventures of going through what you would probably do around christmas eve christmas day or right. this is directly probably this is directly related to christmas eve for pookie and what happens on christmas eve between him and uh his mom's family so they have like a bunch of it's a series um but i love this it's super cute and of course it's a pig my parents just sent this one to colton it's the christmas abcs so literally christmas and a goes with what correlates to different things in christmas which is super exciting a little learning of ABCs and then some Christmas words that you get to talk about. Um, I found this one at Walmart. It's not exactly Christmas but it is winter and that feel of Christmas of snow and everything so this one's how to catch a snowman. It kind of hints at some lovely snowmen that you might know of. <coughs> Olaf frosty um so it's just all about how to catch a snowman possibly it's super cute it's a it's a longer story than obviously the last two that i sent again with a winter-esque theme this is piggaloo and piggaloo is trying to get to the north pole and taking adventures and being an explorer i really like this one because it's um, it's pretty much getting to the concept of like what an explorer would do in like the imagination play and talking about like adventures in imagination. So I really like this book for that. Um, a classic good one. These next four, the last four that I have are definitely all Christmas related. Um, so the Polar Express obviously this is where the movie comes from so you get to talk about the polar express and the adventure that they go on to get to meet santa and find the first gift of christmas it's a little bit long it's just one big picture for each um 
page of words. It's just one picture, so Colton doesn't mind sitting through longer stories like this as long as there is a picture. Um, so we like the Polar Express. This one was given to us by a good friend um, for Christmas. It's called a Poop Powered Christmas. And it's pretty much about an elf named, I think her name's Evie. I haven't read this one. Ivy, that's right. I haven't read this in a, a week or two. So. <laughs> Um, so Ivy pretty much doesn't like being in the toy area of the elves, so they tell her to go pick up poop, pretty much, of the reindeers, and she figures out that it's magical, so she's been storing it away, and then somehow, um, she uses it to save Christmas, so it's really cute, it's a little gross, I mean, the concept of poop. It's kind of funny to kids, so it's really cute for that. If you don't mind poop jokes or fart jokes or anything like that, it's a really fun, cute little book of also problem solving and stuff like that. I really like that about this book is how can we make Santa's um, sleigh fly without the reindeer because they get sick. So I really like that concept of how they do it. So great problem solving. Of course, the classic, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I love this book. I've loved this since I was a kid. I hope your kids do too. If you've never read it or never seen the story, of course, it's all about the Grinch who lives north of Whoville and he hates the Who's because all they do is think Christmas is about gifts and presents. And he later finds out after stealing gifts that it's not and that's such a great message to send to the kids like it's not about presents gifts don't come or like Christmas doesn't come from a store it's not from bags packages tags and more it's all about is with your family and your friends and just being with loved ones and taking that time to cherish each and every moment um that's what I like about this book is it's just talking about family is the number one importance and that Christmas comes from that love and you don't need presents to enjoy Christmas. Um, then the last one is an awesome classic. I got this book at Marshall. It's the nightmare, or not the nightmare, <laughs> it's the night before Christmas. So this is just how Everybody gets ready Christmas Eve about just Christmas Eve and how Santa comes and everything like that. I think this story is just so classic and it's it's suppressed it's gone through the tale of time. I love the classic pictures of everything, the classic wording. Um the cool thing about this book that I got why I love this book this particular version of this book is it's come with Christmas memories. So it came with like a bunch of like pages so you can fill out each year of Christmas memories of for your kid and it has like gold plating. I just really love the classic look of this book. It's very Christmas. You could even put this out as a decoration I did last year. Um, and only read it on Christmas Eve, but I do love this book. I hope you guys got some great motivation on some Christmas books or winter books to read to your kids this year. Don't forget to check out my girl Marie over on Moreno Moms. She has tons of books for her little one to talk about for you and maybe you'll get some more inspiration to go and grab those books. Um, you don't ever feel like you gotta buy a book um, full price, go to like a library or you can go and get them at, I have like a $5 bookstore here. So like reused books or thrift stores because books are really, really expensive. Um, also don't forget to like look at, um, getting gifts 
like books as gifts for kids if you have um, family and friends to go get them books for Christmas those are always great and kids cherish those so without further ado I will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and know when I am posting next I love you guys oh so much Mwah! bye